And what's up guys? Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. The Wind Waker Part 39 of my 100% playthrough. I am Zelda Walkthrough 358. And we're finally in the Wind Temple, yeah. Um, well, this is, the, this is basically the final dungeon before the final dungeon. And we need one more item. Um, we got all the songs. We're gonna need 8 more heart pieces, 10 more treasure shards. Um... And yeah, we gotta restore the rest of the power of the Master Sword. So let's grab Makar over here. So far, he's been, um... I mean, anything's better than Medley, right? So he shouldn't be that bad. And he's much smaller, too. And he's a dude, so... He's not like some retarded girl. Oh my god, a wizard robe. Let's kill it. Pretty sure you can kill it in one shot if you jump attack it. Ha! <laughs> right there. Oh, that was a second shot, but whatever. Alright, so, it's a magic here. Yeah, so, we're, we're, ah, just like we did with Medley, we're gonna have to control Makar. So, you, ah, so we're gonna play the command melody. Alright, here we go. Let's go, Makar. And so, Makar's ability, Medley could, uh, reflect stuff. Makar can plant and grow trees. Um, I mean, it's not the coolest thing in the world, but it's, it's definitely... A lot cooler than reflecting light and medley sucks at it anyway so at least Makar can make the fast here we go you got a chest here and uh, yeah so that's basically his ability you, that's, that's a completely optional chest but the next thing we want to do is you're gonna use Makar here and uh, why can't I fly oh my god I still have those oh I see, uh, shit 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 watch out watch out watch out oh oh there we go oh yeah yeah okay I see so anyways you can fly with Makar you gotta tap A I completely forgot about that. And yeah, step on the switch and there we go. Let's re return to Link. Okay, so now that now we're gonna be seeing Oh yeah, let's get the chest over here. Oh, hundred rupees, nice. We we're gonna need a lot of money later anyway. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of these things in the dungeon. And if you remember the iron boots we got, they're gonna be useful. So you just set the iron boots here. And it, the, wait till it to go down, wait for it to go down and bam, let go. There you go. And now we can do the same thing here. This time we're going to use the Deco Leaf along with it. Now that the wind's gone, we can make it across. So let's completely, completely ignore that stuff that was over there. Let's fly right into my car. Pick him up here. Alright. Next room. Okay. So, over here, um, uh, let's throw my car over there, oh yeah, here, so you gotta use the switch here, you gotta just gotta blow with the wind, and yeah, let's carry my car to the other side. Alright, oh, okay, so now we're gonna have to go back to my car and plant some more trees, because planting trees opens doors. As you will soon see. No, don't fly, my car. There you go. He's like a little pet, you know. He's not like a retarded bitch. He's a pet. Let's plant another one over here. There we go. Doors open. Let's grab him, Link, and let's go through. All right. Ah, uh, okay. Got to go back to the car. Plant some more trees. There we go. Ow. Okay, so let's go, Makar. Let's fly up here. And there we go, right onto there, and plant the seed. Nice. And you gotta keep doing this now. Second one over here. All right. <laughs> well, let's go up here now, and let's plant this final one here. It should open that door. We can go through. Nice. No, no, shit. Are you fucking kidding me, Makar? 
Whatever. Alright, you know what? I just lost all respect for Makar. At least with Medley being a retarded bitch, she never went to jail. Shut the fuck up, Makar. Oh my god, you're such an idiot. Alright, well, fuck him. At least I don't have to deal with him, that's good. Let's go over here by herself and have to carry him around. Alright, so this looks like this is the only door we can go through here. Um, what do we need here? Set some arrows. Alright, so let's. Okay, it looks like we have to go down here. Oh my god! Floor Masters is fucking waiting on me. This guy over here, I'm gonna completely ignore him. So yeah, we gotta use a deck relief on this one now. Kill this guy now. There we go, he's dead. Fuck you, get away from me. Alright, those guys are gonna be really annoying in this dungeon. You'll see later on. Alright, now we gotta re-blow that. Oh shit, I almost got trapped in there. Be careful when you blow it from here so to close the door. You don't actually blow it too close, so the door will push you back there. And, oh, look at this. A fucking... Not only stone tablets here. Ow, a freaking annoying thing. Whatever, so I'll have to come back here with my car. Okay, over here. Huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, you just jump in the wind here. It'll lift us up, and we can stand on the switch here. See if I can perfectly land on it. Oh, yeah, just, just, yeah, just roll right up the switch into the wall link, you stupid motherfucker. Okay, now we can go over here. Pretty simple. Those look like some big holes. I don't know how Link's standing on that. Freaking whiz robe, kill him here. Nice. Any magic? Oh, here we go, a little bit. And there's two ways to go. Um, okay, yeah. This way over here. I remember. Oh, okay, I just missed the heart. This way over here actually has the dungeon map. So, of course, it's 100% walkthrough. And this is, this is the last dungeon. Before the last dungeon. If that makes any sense. The last dungeon before the final dungeon. So, let's go over here and grab the map. So, we need a map compass, the dungeon item, two treasure charts, and the big key in every dungeon. Alright. Some tea here, it's nice. Alright, so now we gotta fly back into here. Come on. Yeah, there we go, made it. And back onto here, let's see if we can get some magic. Alright, a little bit. Any here? Oh, there we go, a little bit more. Uh, now which way do I go? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this way. So, yeah, let's start from that side so we can get the boost. And then go through there and into that one. Okay. So let's jump on here, over here. And let's make it over here. Any magic? Nope. Alright, so yeah, now, now we're going to jump over here. Okay, get some wind. This is, this is a big jump. That's why I realized I had to go this way. Got to go through here. And over here. This is why it's extremely important to have the to, to double your magic later. Because if you don't double your magic, I remember I was in this dungeon the first time I played through the game. This is like my third or fourth time. And uh, when I was here, I didn't, you know, I didn't beat 100 percent or anything until the end. And I had I had the the smallest amount of magic you could have, and, and I had full magic when I started and none when I was finished. So that's why it's really important to double your magic. That's why it's important to just get 100% in Zelda, you know? Or in Metroid Prime. Okay, now we're over here. And any magic? Alright, we got some magic. And looks like we're back in the circular room that my car was trapped in over there. And we had another one of these little switches. You gotta put the iron boots on. And, oh, look at that. It unlocks an entire another floor. Alright, Link. Let's jump down here. And right before we fall, use the leaf.
Alright, this room. Okay, uh, I remember this room. So yeah, what we need right now is a small key. Okay, those looks like, like, uh, metal robot dicks. Looks like some robots underneath here having some fun with their cocks. But either way. Oh my god, Floor Masters. So yeah, this room here is gonna have a key, which is gonna lead us to the... Which we can use that key after to the mini boss. And uh, if you saw those five uh, different cracked floor pieces at the top, no! Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck! I'm gonna cut. All right, guys, we're back in this room. Uh, if you see these five things here. They, uh, you gotta, ugh. you gotta destroy all of them. Well, you don't have to, you only have to destroy one. For each one you destroy, a different enemy spawns, except for one of them, there's no enemy. And this one is Floor Masters. And, um, yeah, so you only have to destroy one of them, then move through the bottom here, go to the top and get the key. But if you also destroy all of them, you get the treasure chart, and of course, I'm gonna get that. So let's kill this last guy here. Nice. Those are actually the hardest out of um, the enemies that fall down. The other ones you can just ignore. Why the spikes have to like fucking penetrate like that? Okay, yeah, so you gotta line this up with the thing on the top. It's actually marked on the, f the floor. And then you, get, you gotta use the second one here. Pull it, actually. You gotta use the second one here so you can get on top of that one. Keep pushing, Link. There we go. Alright, now we can put the iron boots on here. And jump to the top here. There we go. Let's open the chest. And there's the key. Nice. Aww. Oh, no more fun. No more fun, robots. So yeah, now we can destroy the rest of these things. Once we do the, the oh shit, now these guys are attacking us. Once we do the uh, treasure shell will spawn. So let's get back up here again. The rest of the enemies you can just uh, ignore. So that's why I'm actually kind of glad I fought the floor masters first. I'm not glad I fucking got to back to the dungeon, but beginning of the dungeon or whatever. But I'm pretty sure there's a way you can like stand on the side and destroy it without going inside. Fuck. Ow! It's all good. 17 hearts. Alright, two more. Yeah, so that one I just went before this. That's the one that... It's the second from the left. That's the one that no enemy spawns. If you just want the key, don't care about the treasure chart, you go to that one. And one more. There we go. Alright, let's go around here and climb back up. Let's grab this chest. There we go, nice. Treasure number 32. Now we need nine more. Huh. <laughs> Alright, anyways, let's get out of here now. I waste way too much time in here. Now that we have the key that we got in here, we can go to the mini boss, which is on that locked door over there. Oh, it's all dark in here. Scary. What do we have here? What the fuck is that? Looks like a 
fucking Chinese wizard. Ah, right, whatever it is. There's an extremely easy way to defeat these guys, and that's using these arrows here. All you have to do is use the ice arrow and freeze them, both of the wizard robes, and then kill them with your hammer. And the difference between that, that other wizard robe, the new one, that, that's, uh, that's the mini-boss, the main mini-boss out of the three, he's different than the regular wizard robe because he can spawn enemies. See all these enemies? Yeah, he spawned them. This guy's just the normal one, though. So you want to focus on these wizard robes first. Ow! Fuck, I, I still didn't even set the ice arrow. And then after you kill them, you can face the iron knuckle. Come on! Freeze him! Freeze him! Fuck! Switch to the fire. Okay, there we go. Now switch to ice. Now we're good. Oh my god, this turning is such a big fail. Alright. Freeze. There we go. Alright, take the hammer out here. And, bitch, you're dead. Ow, fuck. Why can't I break that orb? Alright, just kill the other wizard over on the iron knuckle. Get down here. I froze him. <laughs> fuck. I hate the targeting system in this game. It targets random things. I'm looking right at the wizard over and it turns around and targets the iron knuckle. There he is. Oh my god, where- oh there he is, okay. No, t t what? No, I don't want to freeze that. Alright, this is a huge fail. This is supposed to be done in like 30 seconds. That's why it's the easy way. I'm just gonna kill his iron knuckle, fuck it. YOLO. Die. Ah. All right, now you. Can I hit him twice or something? No. Fuck. All right, I should keep running around until he comes down here. And yeah, if you kill those enemies he spawns. Oh, right, there we go. Ah, damn it. So yeah, if you kill these enemies he spawns, he's just gonna spawn more. So, just ignore them. Alright, here he is. You're fucking dead. Finally. It took that long. And what? Uh, I have to kill this guy, I guess. And, uh, <laughs> Alright, now the mini boss is over. There we go. Here we go, the, f the final item in this game. Final, well, technically we're gonna get another one, but that's not really in a dungeon item. So, what do you get? The hook shot. This thing is actually... It's pretty cool. Because, um, you can actually use this to save time in the sea. Like, if you're... It can help. I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, this is what it does. You just basically... If you haven't played Zelda before... <laughs> all you do is you... Hook shot onto targets on the wall. And, um... You can do different stuff with it, so that's 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 the first thing you do. All right, now we unlock this door. Let's go. Let's go through. We can go save my car now because we got the dungeon item. All right. All right. Well, I'm gonna see you guys next time, and we'll save my car. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.